chapter 16, assignment 2A, and it's labeled 2A because there's a series of three different videos that will accompany this particular lesson. It's broken down by equation. So the equation that we're going to use right now is pH equals negative log of hydronium, and I'm going to show you both ways that the equation can be used. For starters, example one, if you're given the hydronium concentration, and you can find the pH using the equation. So I'm giving you an example. Hydronium equals 2.5 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. Of course, the equation is negative log of hydronium. And that's what pH equals. pH equals the negative log of hydronium. So this one's pretty easy and straightforward. pH equals negative log, and you're going to put the hydronium concentration in place right here. And I'm going to put for you exactly what buttons you'd want to push in your calculator. You would literally press negative, the log button, 2.5, and then you want to hit second or shift E, e, or just hit your E button, negative, and then 8. Okay, so hit the button, the negative button, hit the log button, type in 2.5 E, negative 8, and then hit enter, and that should give you your answer as the pH. So let me do that right now. Negative log 2.5 second E, negative 8 equals and you should get 7.6, and they give you a really long number. Notice your coefficient here has two sig figs, so you're going to round off your pH to two sig figs. So the pH equals 7.6. And you can see that this is relatively neutral, just barely in the basic range of this particular solution. The second example is going to be the opposite. If you're given the pH and asked to find the hydronium ion concentration, and in this example, I'm giving you a pH equals 3.8. So you still use the same equation, but we're going to derive it, meaning we're going to rearrange it. pH equals negative log of hydronium. And we're actually given pH, so we want to solve for hydronium. So we're going to rearrange the equation. Because it's negative on this side, let's get rid of the negative. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So now we have negative pH equals log of hydronium. Okay, so I just basically moved my negative to the other side. And then the opposite of log is anti-log. So anti-log, anti-log. And it's going to give me my new equation of anti-log of negative pH is going to equal the hydronium ion concentration. So I took my original equation and I just rearranged it. I just solved for hydronium since I have the pH. So that's going to be the anti-log of the negative pH is going to equal hydronium. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have. Anti-log. And our pH, it's got to be the negative, and our pH is 3.8. So negative 3.8 is going to equal the hydronium concentration. Okay? And exactly how do you solve this in your calculator? And I'm going to tell you each button that you're going to want to press. You're going to hit second log, which is going to be the anti-log, and then negative 3.8. So let's go ahead and do that now. Second log, negative 3.8 equals, and you're going to get a long decimal 0 0.0000158, you know, such numbers. And I recommend you change it to scientific notation. And you may be able to do this on your calculator, or um, you're just going to have to move the decimal place. And remember that if you move it to the right, it's going to be a negative exponent. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it in the calculator. So when you hit equals, your hydronium ion concentration is, and we have two sig figs here, so I'm going to keep two sig figs in my answer, 
times 10 to the negative 4. And molar, molarity, is your unit. So don't forget to put your unit for molarity. Okay? Keep in mind that it's not a guessing game. You can actually check your answer by replugging in what you were given into the original equation. You can take the negative log of this number and you should get a pH of 3.8. Just like over here, you could take the anti-log of this negative pH and you should get the original hydronium ion concentration. So you can check your answer when it comes to these equations.